Hey guys, I'm here to do a review on the WinKeep foldable storage cart. And as a photographer, I needed a way to get my stuff from the car to the job site that I was doing the shoot. And I've tried several different carts, but I have to say I do like this one. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I can break this down into a tiny piece. That literally took less than a minute just to get it from of usable size down to this really thin profile. I mean, that's about three and a half inches wide, maybe less, really easy to do. So just some of the features of this, you've got a telescoping handle and it has a couple different positions that it can extend to. So you can go to this point, to that point. So you've got two different settings on where you can be. I like how the lid locks. You have this tab here that actually keeps the lid in place. And another thing I like about this one too is these, you just slide them one way to unlock and one way to lock, and then you don't have pieces to keep track of. The bottom of this is pretty sturdy. It's got a pretty solid base. Um, according to the plans, it can actually hold 120 pounds on the base. I haven't tested that out yet, but I can get quite a bit of my gear in there. So that is pretty cool. And then they say the whole thing on top would hold 250 pounds. I'm not sure if I trust that, but that's what they what they claim. I feel pretty comfortable stacking boxes on top of this, like milk crate type boxes that would sit on the edges. But as far as standing on it, I don't think that's something I'd want to do too often. It still feels kind of flimsy, and if you don't have your weight dispersed properly, you know, to the edges, um, I'm thinking that would might um, shorten the life of this thing. So as far as storage capacity, I'm really pleased with the amount of space that this has. Um, like I said, I use milk crates a lot just to carry my gear and keep it together. This volume of this box has about the same volume as a milk crate. And I just want to show you all the stuff that I'm going to be able to fit in here. And this is all the gear that I used on the last food shoot that I did. So we've got two lights. These are LED lights. We've got a food carousel. There's one light tent. I've got my sandbags to counterbalance for my tripod. Another LED light. Some fabric backdrops. My Justin clamp. And extension cord. So it snaps that into the box there. Then behind me, I have my larger light tent. And then the infamous milk crate. And this is what I will cart around and getting, getting this to my car, to the job site, and I've done several jobs with it already, works great. Really easy, easy to maneuver around corners. It's narrow enough to fit through doorways. Um, it feels sturdy enough to where if I'm going up and down stairs or having to go up and down curbs or if I bump into a wall or anything like that, I don't feel like it's going to break on me right away. Like the last one I used, I just felt like it was a matter of time before some of these pieces broke. I like the fact that this aluminum handle feels pretty sturdy, so I feel confident that it's not going to break when I'm leaning back against this. You know, sometimes you got a narrow place where you're trying to navigate. So that works really well. And then another feature is you've got this locking brake. So it will keep this thing in place. So I've always been into just what this cart does, but it took me a few carts to try just to figure out the right one for me and for my needs. And so you want to basically pay attention to how much weight you need to carry and then think about what kind of terrain you're going to go over. I wanted to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it gives you an idea whether or not this is the right cart for you.